Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how we can display data in table format. So there is one option like we can use layout, table layout to display our data, but it's difficult. Like we cannot display the data like in a table format, in a proper table format. Okay. So in this video, I will show you how we can display the data in table format. So let me show you the example first. Okay. So you can see that's our simple app okay and you will find your display data button okay now whenever i click on this display data button and you can see data in a proper table format right so you can display a lot of information so suppose you have some uh, some formulas in your education right so you can put some formulas and your your description and everything here and you have to just display the table in a proper format so that's video is for you okay so here we go how we can do this we are using your MIT app inventor to create this app click on start new project and your project name is table format now you can see that's our first screen now here we need two things first one is web viewer we will display data in this web viewer we will display the data on button click so I'm going to drag and drop one button here like this and make this with this fill parent and change this name to show or data or something display data like this now you need to download one extension here so i will give you the link of this extension in the description okay so in the pure video go to the pure video extension and type your table and you will find your display table in web viewer extension download this extension here you can see eix file so just download this eix file in the left side you will find the import extension option extension click on it import extension and drag and drop this extension here and click on import now drag and drop this extension here like this and then go to the block section now whenever someone click on this button so we have to display data right so let's create the data so click on variable and let's create one global variable here so data that's my variable name and I'm going to assign this data here now suppose we are creating one table where we need three headings okay so suppose three headings are like name number and city something so city like this okay now we have to that one is our heading now we have to add on some data in the name number and city so just uh, make sure this one backward slash and and okay and then space and then you have to fill data like name is sorrow number is one two three four five six and then city is daddy okay make sure you have to put comma here write this right now let's okay i just fill here one uh, field let me show you how it's work then we will fill more details here okay now we have to display this data in web viewer so click on this and you'll find here the option of this one data a smart simple table okay so on button click we will call this when someone click on this button click, click whenever someone click on this button so web viewer we will assign this web viewer web viewer this one and the csv table is this one okay now you can you can assign directly table by uh, importing that one table uh, csv table okay now let me show you how this app work okay i'm using an emulator you can see display data button click on it and here you can see name number city and sort of number and dally right that so now let me just put more data i have to put more data so how can i do this simply you have to just again this and and then fill some data again right hurry then comma then number okay and then put city okay simply and then go to the app and click on again display data here you can see that's the details that's really amazing it's look like fine right that's the proper table format okay now okay so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to display this data on a screen initialization i don't want to click on this display button okay so click on a screen and you can see in a slice screen then we will call this data like this delete this and then just refresh this and here you can see now the data is here now let me just delete this button you can delete this button also 
like this here here and here you can see that's the details right so that's very useful extension create a proper table format okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have some doubt you can ask me on command please please subscribe my channel like this video share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye